So I, I think that one of the, also the, the, the other real big rumors or misunderstandings in the United States is that uh, LGB is still making everything in China. They don't make a good quality they're, and they're charging way too much. And just, I think, a lot of real misinformation. That's one of the reasons why we wanted to come here mm -hmm. and talk to you and, mm -hmm. and say, you know, show that no, this is, uh, that's all in the past and this is what you guys have been doing for several years mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. uh, I think a classic example is, um, well, we're later on today, we're going to, I think you're planning on uh, showing us the factory. Um, mm -hmm. sure. We understand that most of the stuff here is uh, the, the Merklin and uh, the, the smaller gauges, but you do do some of the uh, G gauge here. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I think we're planning on talking about coming back um, and doing some segments uh, perhaps maybe next year on the on the factory in, in Hungary and, mm -hmm. and really demonstrate. And that's really close to you guys also. It's not like it doesn't take you two days to get there or something. No, no, no. You can just fly in the morning and, and you can come back in, in the evening. This is not a problem. But going, going and back that to assists you, with the quality control. You're, right, you're, you're overseeing right, that right, on a right, daily right. basis. It's but going, going back to your, um, to your topic about, about China and, um, and, and pr pr production in China, not in China, whatever. So uh, again, the main rule is you, you get what you pay for. And, um, but in, in China, it's also a problem if you want to have cheap items and maybe reasonable prices. That was the reason why maybe LGB t took a look for China in the past. Um, we also made analysis um, with that after the whole bankruptcy about us came down a little bit and uh, end of 2012, beginning of 2013, the whole process starts that the Zebras took over the company, um, which was then done in, in April 2014. Um, the, uh, the, the whole decision was, was done at this time by the Zebras and by the whole team too, to say, okay, um, we step away from the whole Chinese production, especially for LGB, uh, especially because of LGB fans. Um, they, they asked us for, not directly face to face, but you know, we got letters, we got comments, we got, we read in the internet. <laughs> um, so we, we, we brought back all the toolings from LGB, all the toolings from LGB. And you can imagine a, a, a a very long freight, freight car. 400 yeah. containers. So it's, <laughs> yeah, this is a number which, which goes around. This is all the toolings we brought back in all the scales. But um, it was a huge number of containers just for the, for the LGB toolings, what we brought back. And in China, you have, to be, you have to be careful that you really get back your toolings completely okay. and the condition and so on. This is another mentality. This is another pol politics situation. So uh, we took care of that time to get everything back. So we rented a building in China. We collected all the toolings together, especially for LGB, because they were spread out in different factories okay. and manufacturers. Um, and then we started shipping back all that toolings. Um, even if we fought or, or if, if, we, if we did know at that time, we will not use them soon. We, we, we brought, it, brought it back um, to Germany. We, we double-checked the toolings here. We double-checked the toolings in Hungary and then we brought everything to Hungary in total. And then we have a huge warehouse in Hungary now uh, where we, we, we store our uh, toolings. So it's, it's now everything made in Hungary. Um, it doesn't matter if it's a if it's an F7 from from Santa Fe or if it's an uh, RHB locomotive or a German narrow gauge freight car. It doesn't matter. It's all made in in Hungary. We are doing development here in Germany. We are doing um, our we call it construction or 3D design. Mm -hmm. Everything electronics and so on. It's all made here in house in Germany. Um, and um, then we put the items together, we assemble it, we have the plastic injection, everything which is necessary, we have in Hungary in-house. And we have two steps in, uh, in quality control, so we have a direct quality control in the factory, so every item which comes out of the production gets on the track, runs a circle, and in an automatic configuration of our controller, CS3, um, we can check all the digital functions, if it's digital, mm -hmm. yeah, lights, sounds, whatever. Um, so this is our first quality control, and the second is that we take a percentage off of this production run in our, we call it audit room here in, in Germany, mm -hmm. and then it's controlled again. Yeah, so let's say 5% or 10%, depending a little bit on the production run, um, is double controlled, and 
if we find any mistake or any, any issue on that items, then we, we stop the delivery and then we bring more out of that production line into our audit room and check it, double check it. So we take care for that. The other side on quality is um, before we, we start to produce an item, you know, we have a huge, and this is what we can see later maybe, um, a huge quality development area in our building here where everything which turns from a 3D construction into a first hand sample, technical hand sample, we make very long term tests with that locomotives or, or cars. So they run sometimes 72 hours on block mm -hmm. one time um, permanently with uh, video controlled. So we make sure that these items are really, really running. You were mentioning that, um, that the quality that's coming out of LGB now is on par with what the, the original old company was doing. And as a matter of fact, a lot of the components are you're now using the exact same components from that you've been using for the last True. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. You know, they're, it's, it's kind of a never, run, uh, never change running team or yeah. however the Americans yeah. say. <laughs> um, you know, the motors are still below motors from Nuremberg. Yeah. Um, this is a, we, we made very good experiences with that. Why to change that? Um, also, the 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 track take the take the track and 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 see just the rails of the track. The brass is still the same manufacturer since years, since yeah. more than forty years now. We use the same manufacturer like LGB and Nuremberg did. The quality of the machines, or even what the machines which moved from Nuremberg, because track was never made in China, from Nuremberg to Hungary were st or are now still the same machines where we produce on now. We just copied some of them because of the capacities, mm -hmm. yeah. But um, to assemble the track, it's still the same machines, and the the, the, the brass profiles we get are still the same br brass profiles we, we have got 20 years ago, and and LGB has got 40 years ago. Yeah, because that that was another rumor that was in the United States is that you that the track was no good now, and it was being made somewhere else, and it's it's the same old track that and the same machine, same There's, process right. for the last There's 40, no 50 years. There's no process difference between 30 or 35, 40 years ago. Yeah. Um, it's just another place where we manufacture for sure. It's instead of Nuremberg, it's uh, it's Hungary now for that, but um, it's it's still the same quality. And you know, I say if people like to have another type of track, they can. Mm -hmm. But you know, if you want to have a quality, long-term, experienced track, LGB is LGB, yeah. and it's not even more expensive. Yeah. So, <laughs> no, well, no reason to buy another one. At, a, at our office, we have oh, about a thousand feet of track that's suspended, mm -hmm. and it runs through the whole office building. And I have some of the the newer LGB uh, trains and locomotives. They run eight to five, uh, five days a week. Year round must be noisy, huh? Uh, actually, that's <laughs> hope, surprising. Hope you they're, have a sound on. <laughs> yeah, they're uh, they're pretty quiet. Uh, they actually run through all the different offices, the tenants' offices. Cool. But they're bulletproof. They, you know, our my assistant comes on, flips the switch mm -hmm. when she comes in the morning, and at the end of the day, she turns it off, and, and they just run and run and run and run. Right. And I've also had some of the older ones, and you could absolutely you can tell no difference. They're just you know. Mm -hmm. First-hand experience are just back to great, um, great quality and and reliability. The the parent company is that owns everything is it's Dickey Toys. Yeah, Zimba Dickey. Zimba and Zimba Dickey Group. It's a huge group for it's one of the for largest toys. in Europe for it's, toys. It's right? the three largest one. The, th the third, third. Right. I think it's right. Third largest one in, in Europe or in Germany. Um, they are doing toys for for every target group, for little kids, for for older kids, yeah. boys, girls, whatever you want to have, and it's a family-owned business. They are doing 650 million euro sales per yeah. year without Merklin yeah. and and LGB. So um, they have quite a bit of experience in, in in toys, and they took over in in 2013 the, the company of of Merklin, including the brands of LGB and Trix. So, um, yeah, this is um, another point where we are quite familiar here so so we can we can make decisions pretty fast um, the owners are close you know it's it's for me or even for Andreas who you met before yeah. um, it's just a call yeah to say hey what's what's going on should we do that or that strategy and that was also um, um, you know a conversation between 
maybe three, four people in the company to say, what should we do in America? And, and you know, a family owned business is another thing. Then you have a big um, complicated structure of lots of investors or whatever. So that makes it, that makes it easier. Yeah. So this is, it, I've noticed in just talking to you and in the few times I've been here, it is kind of uh, the LGB is kind of its own little, not little, but it's own, more like it's still a family, small mm -hmm. company. Um, it's not anymore uh, that little, you know. Right. It was at but you still have then the big resources of, of the Right, Williams. and it, it, it gives us kind of a, what's the right word, maybe a kind of a protection. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah that, some financial backing. For right, them. right, correct. And, and you know, especially nowadays, it's, it's kind of difficult manufacturing model trains. Yeah, because, you know, model trains, if you see the returns of investment, if you see the investments on the locomotive, um, it's huge. And if you, if you take a look now, nowadays around um, the, the, the other industries, yeah, they expect a, turn on invest, a return on investment within maybe six months, eight months, nine months, ten months. This is honestly not possible with model trains because, you know, we are talking about, let's say, a new tooling for a locomotive like the F7 nowadays would cost us probably between 500,000 to 800,000 euros. Yeah. Um, and that's just the tooling, that's not the design? Or no, it's including the design, the, design. the whole development yeah. before. So having a new tooling, having an, uh, including the design and every cost which, which causes a new locomotive, a totally new locomotive mm -hmm. body, including every technical parts inside. But, you know, we are talking about worst case, maybe 800,000, just for, just for an example. Yeah. And try to, to break that down to a quantity of locomotives to a reasonable price. Yeah. So this is quite hard if you want to earn money with that. And this is pretty often um, not possible if you have an in investor structure mm -hmm. in a company. So having a family behind that who, who are standing behind the team, who are standing behind the brand, who are standing behind the whole company, mm -hmm wants to develop that market, this is one of the key things uh, um, yeah, having or driving, running a, a company like that nowadays. Mm -hmm.